In this tutorial, we will teach you how to use title templates in Adobe Premiere Pro. For this tutorial, we will be working on this footage of a busy Chinese market. To get started, we would have to first add a title layer in the sequence. So let's click on the New Item icon over here, and from the menu that opens up, select the Title option. With the new title window opened up, we will keep the video settings as they are, change the name, and click on the OK button. Now let's click on the Templates button, and a new window will open up. Over here, right now you can see that there are no templates currently available in Adobe Premiere. Therefore, we would have to install them separately. For that, you can log on to the Adobe Help section by clicking over here. Once the web page loads, you can download the functional content files for Adobe Premiere by clicking on the link here. Make sure you choose a version according to the operating system you are running. All you need to do is extract the contents of the zip file first. You will need applications like WinRAR to open up the zip file. Extract the Premiere Pro content file and move to the Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 function content directory. Over here you can launch the setup and install it on your system. With the setup wizard complete, the templates would be installed automatically. When we move back to Adobe Premiere now, you will see all the available templates appearing in this window over here. Now you can select any template from this menu here, from corporate to sports, and even travel. For this video, we will open up the corporate menu and expand the abstract section. Over here, let's choose the abstract wide low 3 option for now. To apply the template, simply click on the OK button. Now let's edit the title template a bit. If we click on different parts of the template, you will notice that it comprises of different layers, from the base to the part where the title actually appears, and even the shadow. To edit the text, simply double click on the text box here, and now you can change the text accordingly. Moving to the title properties bar towards the right, you can even change the font style by opening up this drop down menu here. Let's scroll up and select the Eras Demi ITC font style for the title. Similarly, you can double-click on the subtitle text box to activate it, and now let's change its font to Eras Bold ITC. You can even change the color of the text by scrolling down and clicking on the color palette over here. With the color picker window opened up, you can set the color according to your requirements. For example, let's change the color of the font to black. Now let's close the title editor window and bring the main title onto the second video layer. Now let's double click on the layer to open up the title editor window. As we mentioned earlier, all the different parts of the template can be altered. For example, let's click on the red colored base square here and you will notice over here that this is actually an image file. You can configure the width, height, and even the position of this object. For now, let's just reduce the transparency of the object to 75%. Like the text files, you can even alter the color of these objects as well. So now let's close this window and animate the title sequence. For that, let's move to the Effect Controls tab and open up the Opacity section. Notice in the program sequence that the seek bar is currently on the 15th frame. OK, so let's click on the stopwatch icon to animate the sequence. Now let's move the seek bar at the first frame and change the opacity to zero. With that done, let's increase the duration of the main title layer to match with the duration of the video. Now let's render the sequence, and here you can see that we have added a title sequence from a template in Adobe Premiere. In a similar way, you can use any of these templates here and edit them according to your requirements. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.